there's dogs barking outside and birds tweeting and all kinds of activity is going on. And it's been a very, so much has happened since I last recorded a new video, which was eight days ago. Yeah, it's been eight days since I've been in front of the camera. That's the longest I've ever gone since I started this channel in January. And it feels like a lifetime has passed. So much has happened. Um, a couple things happened that were really great. And a lot of things happened that were, mm, I could have done without them, but apparently we don't get to pick and choose. And that's the message. You do not get to pick and choose. And we all do that to some extent. We all do everything to some extent. Uh, there's no real lines or separations or divisions in any of this. And, you know, nothing that I really say about this is actually going to sound, it's not going to be true, you know. It's not, it, it might sound true, but it's not. <laughs> you know, that's not for me to say. Um, but the blood just keeps circulating and the breath keeps going in and out. You know, the, <laughs> the funny feelings come inside and they make us go <laughs> and laugh and who knows why these things happen. I was in a weird situation where I felt that I was coming around to a familiar place that I'd been stuck before. And I recognized it this time. And I said, aha, I've been here before. And I know, and it's not a good situation to be in. And oh, wow. And oh, I cannot actually escape. This is coming back around again. And I cannot get out. It's just going to happen. There's nothing I can do to get out of the way. So I let it happen. And I tried to get creative with it. Like, is there, you know, is there something to be learned here? Is there something I can um, grab? Something I can get from this situation to take with me on my journey? Is there anything I could do differently that's going to make it uh, change, you know, to, to transmute it or whatever? I somehow, I just, I was conscious. I was aware of it more than I've been in the past. And I realized there was no way of getting out of that situation without putting myself at risk, a lot more risk than I was comfortable with, and getting hurt. I had to hurt myself in order to help myself. I had to hurt myself in order to move forward, which is kind of a weird, I don't know, it didn't really make sense to me. Isn't, shouldn't there be a way out of this that's smooth? that's healthy, that's, I don't know, free of, I don't know what it is that I was looking for, to be honest with you, but I'm in this situation and I realize there's no way I'm getting out of it without hurting myself. Okay, well, I'm no stranger to self-harm, so <laughs> bring it on, you know, that's, that's familiar, but is there anything I can get out of this situation? Is there anything that, and I realized you know, there might be a way that I can maneuver here that, well, it might be extremely dangerous and it might cause severe damage to my body. However, if I can get through it without that happening and just sustain some minor injury, I think I might be able to move through this and not have it come up again in this way. And I feel that I did that and I feel I feel really grateful that although, you know, I did have to sustain a minor injury, um, it was very, it was right on that razor's edge of, oh, this could have been so much worse. And I had to just trust that my body's intelligence or who knows what um, was just going to take care of me as best as it could. So, yeah, I've been kind of laid up in a way that I have not been able to do much in the last week and I haven't really been able to record any videos and I've been struggling with that and not doing as good of a job of resting as I really need to be right now. But I am emerging in the midst of this to post this video and I'll probably take another few days of rest after this and we'll see how it goes. So.
I don't know that there's any lesson that I've learned particularly that I could share. Uh, it's still something that I'm not exactly clear about. Um, so I don't know if what I'm saying even translates or makes any sense. But I do feel as though I sort of escaped by the skin of my teeth. Is that what they call it? And um, I'm, I'm really grateful for that. So, however, it has definitely left me lacking in resources to deal with all of the other everyday struggles and challenges that I've been facing. So, YouTube is very low on the priority list right now for things that I need to be doing here. So, uh, but I'm glad to be able to do this recording right now. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just rolling my foot on a tennis ball right now to create sensations in my body to distract from the other sensations that I do not want to be feeling right now. Because I don't think I can record a video and feel those at the same time because they are hurt. But we'll see. Let's see. Okay, put away the tennis ball. Just sit here and just see how we feel. <laughs> no. no, thank you. Um, it's hard to breathe into that. <laughs> ah. It's all good. <laughs> ah. <laughs> it really hurts though. Whoo. Boy, see, this is why I didn't want to do a video because I knew it's going to be like this. Like, I know I can't really sit up like with comfort. Um, just pop an Advil, man. It's going to be fine. I'm not even going to go there. There's no painkiller that's going to make it better. They're not sustainable things for me. I know that. So, got to love the pain. Mmm, yes. <laughs> so good. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. <laughs> oh my god, and laughing makes it so much worse too as the ribs are popping in and out. Ooh. So I don't know, man. I don't know what what like at this point in the video, like I I want to just call it, but at the same time I feel like I want to work through this so I can actually talk and say more things. Um but is that really I mean I'm pushing through something that's just too difficult right now. At that point it's like some kind of sadistic porn or something. It's like, that's not, <laughs> not, the, not the kind of content that I'm interested in creating. Uh, watch as this person doesn't rest when they need to rest. Um, I'm trying my best here, self. It's like the conversation I'm having. No, I can't, I just can't, I can't even, that, I'm trying to talk, I'm trying to muster up enough focus and enough strength to talk through all this. My body just needs rest. And I think that is the true lesson of right now. Um, 